Dr. Ben Bickman, Breaking the Vegan Myth, and Get Your Insulin Measured. I am a huge advocate of ruminant um, animal consumption, of ruminant animal products in the human diet. There's something just beautiful. It's elegant. It's intelligent that this is an animal that can eat a food that nothing, that we cannot, we cannot eat those grasses um, at all. Uh, so this whole kind of vegan myth that we can eat like a, an ape does, we can eat like a, a cow does. No, we cannot. We cannot thrive on that kind of diet. So to, to, to be able to have an animal that can take a plant like grass, which is directly getting energy from the sun, um, and then captures that energy, harnesses it, and because of its miraculous um, stomachs, can form all the foods it needs. And then we, as apex predators, can then come in and eat that animal that can't eat any of the other grains and plants that we might want to enjoy. They're not supposed to eat those. They're supposed to eat the plants that we cannot eat. And thank heavens for that. I think there's something yes. beautiful about it. Really, my central thesis um, in the book, in a way, is we need to put insulin on the radar, including measuring it clinically. Measure your insulin. As someone who's hearing this and is about to have a clinical visit, do what you can. Beg, plead, whatever to get your insulin measured. Um, and if it's below six microunits per mil or, or around 30, 35 picomolar, then that's a good sign and you're doing great. A second measurement is actually looking at your blood lipids. And this one's a little more accessible because we always were so obsessed with blood lipids, which uh, which is fine. I don't think that's unwarranted. But that means someone will always have their triglyceride number and their HDL number, the HDL cholesterol. And so this sort of poor man's method, a surrogate of getting a feel for what your insulin sensitivity status is, take your triglyceride number and divide it by your HDL cholesterol number. And if that ratio, triglycerides to HDL cholesterol, is 1.5 or less, that's a good sign. That's a person who's insulin sensitive in general. So th to sum it up, get your insulin measured. And if you can't get your insulin measured due to insurance constraints or medical system constraints, then focus on your triglyceride to HDL ratio. You will always get that measured no matter where you are. And if it's less than 1.5, then that's a green light. You're doing all right.